the distributed property says that we can carry a number through a parentheses without um, changing the value of the whole uh, term. So what we're going to do here is, this is what the definition of the distributed property is, is take a times b and have a b plus a times c. So this side of the equation is equal to this side. And we can do that with numbers it's by saying 5 times 2 plus 5 times 1 is equal to what this is going to be equal to. And if we do this, we can obviously just take 2 plus 1 is 3, times 5 is 15. So we know this side is equal to 15, and then we'll see if it matches up. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 5 times 1 is 5. So 15 equals 15. And we can do that the other way also. If we have this a, b, say we have 5x plus 8x where we have this common term x in here, we can do the inverse of the distributed property and take the x out of both, both of the uh, things being added together and then put the 5 and the 8 in the parentheses. So we just factored an x out and this is going to be equal to this side. So we can do the distributed property or we can do the inverse of the distributed property which we use a lot of times when we factor equations like this.